Hi, I'm Dave Hillowitz. So this video is about free plugins. Specifically, my current favorite instrument plugins. Um, I just bought a Windows machine, uh, this little thing, uh, strictly for the purposes of doing Windows development. And I needed to install all of my software, basically anything I use for audio production, fresh. Now I'm not gonna be shooting on that Windows machine because I don't have any screen capture stuff set up, but this is the list of free plugins that I installed. First up, Zebralette by Yui. If you're not familiar with Yui, um, they're this extremely well-regarded plugin manufacturer. I think they're based in Germany. Zebralette is a simplified version of Zebra 2, which is one of their flagship synths. Uh, they describe it as a spectral synth. In practice, it seems somewhere between like a traditional subtractive synth and a wavetable synth. The presets that come with it are really gorgeous, and they get extra bonus points because they made a version that's compatible with M1 Max. For the purposes of showing off these plugins and because I want to make this video a little bit quickly, uh, I'm going to be working pretty much exclusively with the factory presets for each of these plugins. As you can see, Zebralet comes with a ton of presets. To make things easy on myself, I'm actually going to go back to that initial startup preset and use that. Okay, let's move on. Next on my list is Dext. Dext is a faithful recreation of the Yamaha DX7. Uh, if you don't know what that is, it's this like classic 80s synth. Uh, it's most famous for bringing FM synthesis to the masses. Um, if you don't know what FM synthesis is, by the way, uh, there's this fantastic Andrew Huang video that I highly recommend checking out, um, link below. Um, yeah, he just does a brilliant job of explaining exactly how it works. In addition to being this like iconic 80s sound, uh, the DX7 is kind of like also really famous for being very, very hard to program. Uh, I wouldn't know, I've never actually dared to try. Uh, as you can see from the UI, it certainly looks pretty complicated. So yeah, this is one where I definitely stick to the presets. By the way, Dext is such a faithful emulation of the DX7 that you can actually hook it up to your actual DX7, assuming you have one, uh, and um, yeah, do some kind of data interchange between the two. So that's pretty cool too, um, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go with this preset. I have to be kind of careful because it's like some sort of like sequence preset and like the first three notes are really beautiful and then the fourth note is this like extremely harsh burst of static. So I'm just gonna try to use the first three notes over and over again. I like the way these two synths work together. Uh, because this is Ableton Live and because I'm in like session view, I'm gonna make a few clips with different chords so that I can just kind of switch clips and uh, yeah, build a chord progression. Okay, moving on, Decent Sampler. It would be weird if I made a video about free plugins and didn't mention my own free plugin, Decent Sampler. I'm not just the creator of this plugin, I'm also an avid, loyal user, I'm scoring a film right now and I'm using pretty much nothing else. If you don't know what it is, here's the deal. Basically, it's a free sampler plugin, it's a sampling engine, uh, much like Sforzando or Contact, uh, and you can download presets from all over the internet and use this plugin to play them back. Most of you who are watching this already know about Piano Book, but if you don't, uh, it is a website. It's like a treasure trove of free sample libraries, um, all of which were made by people like you and me. The Piano Book community is extremely active and people are uploading new samples all the time. And there are like hundreds and hundreds of samples that are compatible with Decent Sampler. So um, yeah, definitely, definitely check that out. Since at this point in my composition, I'm just trying to build like a minimal loop, I'm gonna use one of these percussive sounds from uh, Dan Keen's Pots and Pads series. By the way, you should definitely download this library. It's really, really beautiful. In the case of this piece of music, I'm going for something super subtle. I just wanna add like one note to that loop that I already got going. Okay, back to the synth world. 
So the next one is a relatively new synth, Pendulate by Newfangled Audio. Unlike most of the synths that I'm going to feature in this video, Pendulate isn't actually aiming to recreate any traditional kind of synth at all. Instead, it incorporates a mathematical model called the double pendulum into its oscillator, and the goal is that it should create things that are like a little bit unpredictable, a little bit weird. It also includes several features that you can find on like West Coast synths, like, um, you know, a Bukla style um, wave folder and low pass gates. The idea of this plugin is that it should make kind of like warbly, unpredictable sounds, and it does. Uh, but what I like most about it is actually that uh, they've gone out of their way to make sure that the sounds are actually really usable. Um, you know, it's not just like weird esoteric stuff that doesn't fit into the mix. The presets are really beautiful. I think I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to click the tempo button so it's actually synced to the project tempo. By the way, extra points to Newfangled because this actually has uh, MPE support. Very cool. Okay, next on our list is Vital by Matt Titel. Might be Title. I'm actually not sure how to pronounce his name. Anyway, he is a powerhouse VST developer. Uh, he's actually got not one, but two entries on my favorites list. First, this is the one we're talking about now, Vital, which is like a full-featured wavetable synthesizer. You download it here on this dedicated website. You have to make an account. Uh, and there are a bunch of different tiers that cost different amounts of money. The base tier, the one on the far left, is free. In addition to the normal stuff that we've all come to expect from a wavetable synth at this point, it has a bunch of interesting features like spectral oscillator warping, uh, has a bunch of great tools for creating your own presets, including this like very novel text-to-speech feature. Fish, tacos, and chips. Again, this is a synth that comes with a ton of really impressive presets. At this point, now that I got a bass line and I got some stuff happening in the treble, I just want something that's a little bit percussive to add a little more interest to my track. The second Matt Titel synth that I want to talk about is Helm. Uh, Helm is something he released, I think, four or five years ago, something like that. And it's his take on a standard subtractive synth, like that Moog that I've got over there. In fact, the architecture is almost exactly the same. It has a bunch of extra features that the Moog doesn't have, but same general idea. Whenever I want to uh, impersonate that kind of a sound with, you know, a couple oscillators and maybe a sub oscillator, uh, this is the plugin that I reach for. Since I've cluttered up my mix with random stuff at this point, I'm not going to add Helm to the mix. I don't see any use for it. Uh, and we're going to move directly to my last pick, and that is Spitfire Labs. Um, if you're a media composer, you probably already have this installed. Uh, if you're not, you definitely should. Uh, Spitfire, of course, is famous for its like high-end string sounds, and this plugin doesn't disappoint in that department. There are a bunch of different string samples that like are worthy of any film project. But in addition to that, there's a huge variety of the sounds that are available for this thing. Uh, there's their like world famous um, soft piano patch. Uh, there's electric keyboards, guitars, a lot of different plucked instruments. Um, some weird um, experiments that like just somehow managed to find their way into like almost every single project I do. So, so if you have not downloaded this yet, you absolutely should. For my purposes here, I think I'm going to use one of the like subtle string patches to like round out the sound on this track. Okay, I think that's it for my list. Uh, there are a couple honorable mentions. Um, Synth One was my go-to free instrument for like, I don't know, 
15 years, something like that. And the only reason I didn't feature it in this video is because uh, there's no Mac M1 version. And uh, yeah, generally I feel like development has slowed a lot. Um, the other great, great plugin is TAL Noisemaker. It's another OG plugin that's been around for like 15 years. Uh, yeah, it's fantastic. Other tips for getting free instruments. Uh, Bedroom Producers Blog is this like fantastic resource for free and cheap VST instruments get on their mailing list. Um, it's very low volume. I think it's like once a month. Uh, and they basically just like send you a list of free plugins you can download. Uh, another good place to look is uh, Facebook. There are a bunch of different Facebook groups uh, that specialize in like cheap or free plugins. Um, it's a good idea to get on the mailing list of companies that are famous for giving out free stuff. Native Instruments and Arturia have uh, yearly giveaways and they're like really good giveaways too. Like last year Arturia gave away this like um, chorus plugin that I use in everything. Uh, the year before, uh, Native Instruments gave away this um, Realm reverb thing that, again, I use in like half of all the projects I do. So um, definitely get on those lists. Also, you'll want to be on Spitfire's mailing list because uh, you'll be notified anytime they release one of their labs patches. And yeah, that's worth, worth knowing about. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, it'd be great if you could hit like. And if you haven't done so already, now is a great time to subscribe. I've got a bunch of videos on the way. Okay. See you soon.